And this morning, um, I'm baking a loaf of bread. I'm gonna read some Christmas stories to Emily. Abraham isn't feeling all that well. And, um, and then Mike and I are going to leave behind, and Emily, all of our work for about three hours, all of our packages that need to be labeled. We'll do that when we get back this afternoon. And we are gonna head up to Montpelier to have lunch with our oldest son, Thomas. Um, he needs a little encouragement right now. So that's what we're gonna do. And I hope you'll follow along. It's about 10.45 and we are on our way to Montpelier. We have Abraham and Emily with us and I told them that there's no whining, no crying, and we are going to have fun. Right, Emily? Right, Bye. Abraham? Oh, look at the turkeys. Oh, and we, oh, speaking of turkeys, we've got a turkey crossing ahead. <laughs> they are endless. There are so many around here. And I've got my knitting. It's a special commission for a family member, so I can't talk too much about it. And, um, all right. Hey, I see the dome. It looks the dome. Yeah, it's got the little thingy on it. It has the, the new goddess on it. I forget her name. It's a new goddess. Look Sarah. at it. Over there. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. It's serious. It's series. Series, yeah. Series. Ah! Mmm! What was the good god for hot? Series, um... Hollow on the inside. They had to... The weight of it would be too great if it was a piece of granite. Thai food. <laughs> no, you can knock. Are you gonna... Hello, we are back from Montpelier. We had a nice lunch um, with Thomas, um, and it was good to visit with him for a little bit. That's one of the great things about moving back to Vermont is being near him. And we stopped at the Hunger Mountain Co-op to grab a few things. Actually, all I was supposed to go in for was some plain yogurt. And I brought Emily in with me. And what did I come out with? Some organic candy canes for the tree. Well, some lettuce. She wanted some granola for her yogurt. Um, Any time that I've made it, they haven't really eaten it, the homemade. I got some organic clementines, because we have some colds in the house. And some corn tortilla shells for Abby. She's gluten-free, and I am as well. A couple onions, some organic bananas, and I treated myself to some Myers Clean Day Iowa Pine Scent to get in the spirit of cleaning the house a little bit more for the Christmas season. I, always, I almost always make our own cleaner, and I'll share that recipe sometime after Christmas time. Um, but I just wanted, we needed another spray bottle anyway, because I need one for just vinegar and water. We only have one right now. So I kind of used that excuse to treat myself to a cleaner that smells really good. And I also got some organic Cottonwood Creek wine, which I, Mike and I sometimes. So anyway, food is where I spend a lot of money because I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Number one, I, I think eating healthy Eating organic when possible is just really important because if we don't have our health, what do we have, right? And then it also supports um, keep our environment, not putting pesticides into the ground. Um, and also, little treats can really kind of make the day. So if we live really simply, you know, we have an old car, we, we don't buy new clothes, we never buy new we hardly ever buy new things. Um, instead, we're patient and we wait until either somebody happens, we pray about it, somebody happens to give us 
um, something used to make it work. Um, we find things on the side of the road, yard sales, consignment shops. So we don't really spend a lot of money except paying our bills, but we do spend a lot of money on food. Um, but I, for me, that's a priority. And the little special things that you can do with food throughout the day, each day can really make each meal special. Um, so if you make a really nice, healthy meal for dinner, present it nicely, you never feel poor. <laughs> and, um, so we're blessed to have been able to do that and we make that a priority um, in our lives and it's always worked so far. So we feel blessed about that and I just wanted to share and I'd love to hear your thoughts about that too and how you balance your budget with healthy food, maybe organic food, and then treats as well. I mean, eating a little treat can go a long way to make, you know, making your day just maybe a little bit more special. All right. I thought I would share today um, some of the knitting projects that I'm working on and some that have finished. Um, first little knit, finished knit, is this little cardigan doll cardigan. It's the Belfast basic um, doll cardigan. It's a free pattern that I um, created and you can see that I'll leave the link below. Uh, I just used a Knit Picks Andy's um, worsted for this one in the lake, I think it's lake forest heather colorway. I will have to double check. And then look at these cute little buttons that Mike made out of oak. It has a natural coloring around the edges that um, makes it look like a little flower. So I love these. This, is, this was a custom order, so I'm going to ship that off today. And then I want to share a little more closely the little wispy mini mitten. The pattern is by Camabornia. This was my first go at the Latvian braid technique. Um, and I made some mistakes. I'm not sure what this lump is here, this raised edge is here. I didn't put the border over here like I should. Um, and I decided to make the thumb a solid color instead of continuing the pattern on the thumb, the color work on the thumb. Uh, but all in all, for my first go at some new techniques, I'm happy with it. It makes an adorable ornament and it's something that I would definitely would like to work on off and on throughout the year to make a bunch of these for ornaments, to decorate packages, to make garlands. They're so sweet and they're great for using up ends of uh, fingering weight yarn. So that's that. And then there's a project I'm working on, which I can't really show you because it's a commission project for um, a family member, but it's my own pattern and I will. So that's all I can say right now. So I'm knitting a lot on that to get it shipped down to them and but I can't say anymore. What I am going to cast on this, this evening are the giving mitts. The designer is Jenny Sausaline. I will live, leave a link below. I am going to try to use the yarn I have which is um, I think I'll use some piece fleece but I'm just going to use size six needles. Um, and see what happens. I'm guessing, of course, that they're gonna come out a little bit bigger. So I'm wondering if she has different sizes. I don't think she does. Oh no, she does, she does. A small and medium size and a medium large size. I'll share how it comes out with a piece fleece, which is a thicker worsted weight yarn, um, or if I have to go with um, a uh, different weight yarn. So I'll share the progress on those. And today's giveaway is this little birch tea light holder with a little word burned heart. It'd be great for a little gift for somebody or keep it for yourself. Just leave a comment below if you're interested um, in winning this. I'll draw our winner tomorrow at four. All right, so wishing you a wonderful evening again. Today was, um, when, we go, when I go someplace, I just fall way behind and I'm a very, structured, not really structured, but kind of used to a routine kind of person. I like everything to be neat and tidy. And so, um, 
when we go out, of course, that doesn't happen. So I'm trying to loosen up a little bit and have more fun, right? So fun, I think, was my word for the year last year. I don't think I made a word for this year. So anyway, I'm rambling enough. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you tomorrow.